Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Today we will discuss Chandrayaan missions. Chandrayaan 1. Chandrayaan 1 was India's first deep space mission. Among its suite of instruments, it carried NASA's Moon Mineralogy Mapper, M3, an imaging spectrometer helped confirm the discovery of water locked in minerals on the Moon. The orbiter also released an impact that was deliberately crashed into the Moon, releasing debris that was analyzed by the orbiting spacecraft science instruments. Chandrayaan-2 The Chandrayaan-2 mission was launched on 22 July 2019 by GSLV MK3M1 from Satish Dhawan Center Sriharikota. Chandrayaan-2 is the second lunar mission of India after the success of Chandrayaan-1. This mission was conducted for topographical researches and mineralogical studies to have a better understanding of the moon's origin and evolution. The main aim of Chandrayaan-2 was to trace the location and abundance of lunar water on the moon's surface. Main aim of the mission Chandrayaan-2 fostered the findings of Chandrayaan-1 as reported by the ISRO. The mission targeted the south polar region of the moon which was completely unexplored. The mission focused on the extensive mapping of the lunar surface for studying variations in its composition and tracing the moon's origin and evolution. Chandrayaan-2 was considered as a challenging mission as the south polar region of the moon was totally unexplored by any space agency before. The Chandrayaan-2 mission consisted of three main modules. Lunar Orbiter Vikram Lander named after Vikram Sarabhai Lunar Rover named Pragyan Had the mission been successful, it would have been the first time a country landed its rover on the moon in its maiden attempt. About the launch vehicle GSLV MK3, chosen to launch Chandrayaan-2 spacecraft, is a three-stage heavy lift launch vehicle developed by ISRO. The vehicle has two solid strap-ons, a core liquid booster and a cryogenic upper stage. GSLV MK3 is designed to carry four-tone class of satellites into geosynchronous transfer orbit GTO, or about 10 tons to low Earth orbit LEO, which is about twice the capability of the GSLV MK2. Chandrayaan-3 India plans to execute the Chandrayaan-3 mission this August. The Chandrayaan-3 mission is a follow-up of Chandrayaan-2 of July 2019, which aimed to land a rover on the lunar South Pole. It was sent aboard the country's most powerful geosynchronous launch vehicle, the GSLV MK3. However, Lander Vikram, instead of a controlled landing, ended up crash landing on 7th September 2019 and prevented rover Pragyan from successfully traveling on the surface of the moon. Chandrayaan-3 will have an orbiter and a landing module. However, this orbiter won't be loaded with scientific instruments like the Chandrayaan-2. Its aim will only be confined to carry the lander to the moon oversee the landing from its orbit and communicate between the lander and the Earth station. Thank you, everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.